where I would go. I, I couldn't. I, I would do uh, Barmore first. I would take Merrick second. I would take Jock. I, I'm not opposed to taking Jock. He, I think he fits Gus Bradley's system. Uh, Carl Joseph could play free safety. Um, I would take Darisol or Jenkins. Those are the five guys I'd want. Ideally, those are the five guys that I want. Now, if if it doesn't happen, that's fine too, right? But we better not take no Alex Leatherwood or, or one of these guys. I'm going to be upset. <laughs> so the Raiders are taking Alabama offensive tackle Alex Leatherwood. What? No, come on now. Let's let's see if that's confirmed. There's no way the Raiders are taking. They they reached for him, man. They took Alex Leatherwood from Alabama with Christian Barmore, Trayvon Merrick. This is that's crazy, man. I cannot believe they're gonna take Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle from Alabama. Wow. <laughs> wow. What, that, you, what was I saying this whole what was I saying this whole time, man? Why, man? Why do we always do this shit, bro? Every every year, bro. What, what was I every saying this, year? This whole stream, I, hold on. I want a single camera right now. I'm yeah. expecting a safety. cam. I am expecting I am expecting Mary. <laughs> Singular. That's what I'm expecting here. We'll see where this goes. Every year, Mike let All right. <laughs> 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 hey, listen. Okay. Here's the thing. Hey, he played at Alabama. There you go. There's a positive. He played at Alabama. Every year. Look, I know the Raiders are going to draft for need. They do it every year. They did. They needed a left tackle when they took Colton Miller. And they needed a defensive lineman when they took Cleve Farrell. Every year they draft for need. It's not a problem that drafting for need. It's just always why is it that guy at let's, that uh, need? I mean, let's come back here and let's grade this first, and then we'll go to Mike. I think this deserves a, uh, a look around for everyone in Vegas. <laughs> it's not. It's no bueno. Talk about it, Mike. Yeah, so he was the ninth tackle on PFS draft board. Um, a lot of people, nine, sorry about that. A lot of, drawing over here, a lot of people see him as a guard because, well, Me. I mean, he had issues on the edge. He straight up gave a soft edge yep. to speed rushers. Like, mm -hmm. Aziz Ojolari ate his lunch this past year. Uh, gave up 16 pressures, a 73.4 pass blocking grade, up from 10 pressures the year prior. He has the length, he has the athleticism to stay outside on the edge, but like I said, Really soft outside hands, the, the timing of his punch, and he just like consistently gives, opens the door with his outside leg, and that's why people want to move him inside to guard. Same thing happened to the one on ones at the Senior Bowl. Just his drop spots and like his consistency is really lacking. And to draft that guy 17th overall. Show tonight, and they see everyone saying, "Hey, I want either Tevin Jenkins or Hey, I want somebody like Joke or Hey, I want somebody like Trevon Merrick." Like those are the three picks that I think the Raiders need to go with here. Maybe. Maybe somebody like a Christian Darasaw could be an interesting option who uh, played a lot of left tackle at Virginia Tech. But, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens here. The reason why I want Joke is because not only can he play linebacker, he can also go, oh, man, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I don't like the pick. I'm just going to warn you right now. It's, uh, it's an offensive tackle, and it's not the guy that I wanted. And yet again, the Raiders are reaching on somebody. Oh, man, I don't like it. No, he's a, he's a tackle. But why? And the Raiders yet again show that they have no idea what they're doing in the 2021 NFL Draft. Just really, really frustrating. They, they actually ended up going with Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle slash guard from Alabama. I mean, this was like my fifth-ranked offensive lineman on the board. I mean, you just see time and time again, for whatever reason, the Raiders just take the guy that they want. I mean, they could have gotten him. I'm not kidding you. This, this is somebody that you could have gotten in the second round at pick number 48. So I, I've been saying for a very, very long time that if this these picks ultimately don't work out, I'm going to start turning up the heat on Gruden and start turning up the heat on somebody like Mike Mayock because for you to take Alec Leatherwood, not that he's a bad player, but it's not somebody that you take in round one. It's not somebody that you go ahead and realistically make this move for.